ever do it. Of course, looking to carry on that momentum here. That's why they found themselves in grand finals with their handy dandy homie, Ned. But can't take anything away from the other side, though, Mr. Nasty. Look at Onan's shirt. Look at him. You got to love it. You got to love it. I love that meme. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. So we got the double Steve, and it's uh, – it's the two best Steves, in my opinion, in the world. Akola and Onan have been doing amazing things in the singles part of things, but also showing that they got the chops to do it in doubles, too. Yeah, I am a little afraid, not going to lie, man. Um, I, Onan and, and Akola are, are just um, – there's just so many words in the English dictionary, and I'm really struggling to find all the good ones for them because <laughs> they're all of those and then some. We have seen their track record. Uh, you know, just these last so many months, Onan and Akola, of all the Steve players specifically, have really put the meta on their back and pushed it to new horizons. Them teaming up is literally the stuff of nightmares for any anybody of any caliber of player. I mean, friends, look up Onan, okay? Once Mavscon, come on, man. You don't just do that overnight. You got to be one of the best in the business to run that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, not too many players can say they 3 0 them kill it. That's facts. <laughs> That's <laughs> facts. That is definitely uh – Oh, and the animal <laughs> coming right through the blocks there. You got to watch it. Great setup. Hey, so I'm just going to slip and slide right on up out of here, man. Flying yeah. high. And, uh, yeah, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen in some of the, the team combos, um, you know, from the blue team and, and how much of the team combos are going to be all geared around hitting the opponent. Because I'm thinking of, like, okay, we can set up traps. We can set up pillars. We can, like, you know, right. really trap an opponent. You know, how are they synced up in that regard? Because as it stands right now, blue team looking pretty strong, all things considered. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have two crafting tables as well. So you think you think one Steve ha is a menace in singles. Well, think about two of them in doubles. So just like that, it is going to be the blue team with the lead here. But for how long? 147% on the Enderman. I believe that's a cola. Mm -hmm. I think so, too. I think Onan's the uh, – is that Alex? Alex, yeah, Alex that's right. I knew that. <laughs> Alex, that's right. You play, a little, you play a little creative mode, right? That's right. I'm a, something of a Minecraft player myself. All, right. <laughs> All jokes aside, I've never played this game a day in my life. But I've definitely been played by these two right here. Akla and, of course, Onan looking really strong right now. But Red Team has something to say about it. Of course, they're very warmed up coming off of their last uh, you know, couple sets. Oh, wait a minute. Don't want to go that way. Hold no, up don't another cape. Oh, yes, sheesh. <laughs> it's the darkest of all the wizards right there, Dark Wizzy. I love that. Sometimes less is more when it comes to the Minecraft cast. Yeah, Dark Wizzy said this is a no-fly zone. I'm sorry, buddy. Don't do not do it. Don't fly around me. Now, Sephiroth is going to have the range and some of the tools here to really stay away from Steve, but you are very light, so don't get caught by the stray minecart. You don't want that. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't get caught by any stray smash attacks right here from Dark Wiz. You know, all things considered, you know, straight, uh, you know, just a great opening right here from the blue team. But, you know, when it really – really just like comes down to it. Dark Wizzy has been the stock tank here, if I'm keeping it real. 83%. Yep. Uh -oh. And, you know, and against two very talented players like Akla and, and Oni, you would think he's knocking on Death's door, but he's most certainly not. Ooh, able to get back on the stage. Wow, Ooh. the charge on the up smash. Not going to connect that, but and Ned's got to be really careful. We talked about strays here. Gets the forward smash, and it's going to be a stock mm -mm. trade, but Ned is going to be the one that is alive here, and it's 2v1. Onan but Onan's is able to pick it up. We got a 1v1 here to start off Grand Finals. Let's get it, man. Nice building it up right here in a big way. Gets the Ooh, up smash. Okay. Very smart. Cutting that lead right in half. Dark Wizzy, of course, is going to have to board these platforms and try to jump around some of these pillars to find some openings. But up beyond the shield is going to get it done. Keeping uh, Onan, excuse me, off stage. Almost said Akola. I got him mixed up there. Going dipping it low here, but the up smash out of shield is going to mm. do the trick. It's a little old school, a little old school smash tag. That's you know right. That's right, man. Hands off the overalls, player. <laughs> um, I think, you know, they were um, – not no disrespect to the first two sets that we casted, but I think these two definitely made them sweat a lot more. Yeah, um, yeah. Again, just the sheer versatility and just wonkiness that our two Minecraft players of this caliber is enough to keep you on edge. And – um, you know, they're able to kind of mount that victory, but it did not come uncontested. I, I will say so myself. I think Sephiroth survivability, they've kind of switched roles a little bit. It seems like Dark Wizzy's like, all right, bro, you can go in a little bit, you know, preserve your stocks. I'm going to really, really hold on to mine because I know for sure as much of a force as you are for them because you can swing big and cut down some of their setups, you also get smacked around pretty easily too. So I need to really keep the neutral tight. 
Okay, it's already net off stage, taking 54%. And we saw, I mean, honestly, Dark Wizzy's double cape was the MVP. They won practically at one stock, right? So Dark Wizzy really clutching it up there. We'll see if Dark Wizzy can get any more edge guards. You know, Steve, I wouldn't say has a, like, crazy recovery, but definitely a above average recovery. So when you're able to kind of turn it on its head, mm -hmm. you can really shift the tides of battle. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like um, sort of the same mentality that we see when, like, you see, like, a top pro uh, professional rod. It's like, you know, I have a good recovery. I can recover from some good distances away. But if it is contested properly, I might be in a bit of trouble, as you can see here. I can't think of two better characters, two better player character combinations to do that versus these two characters. Uh, then, you know, Ned and Dark Wizzy. You know, you start going high. Sephiroth has you covered with up air. Of course, I can scout out forward air pretty well. You go too low trying to make it back to the ledge. I got back air to keep you covered. If I think for a second you might make it back down to solid ground, you have a character like Mar that can rinse and repeat the juggle, but doesn't seem to matter right here. Onan and Akala looking pretty strong. All things considered, evened out, but wow. Dark Wizzy making me eat my words. Up smash right there gives him the lead back. Dark Wizzy, once again, kind of just making it really hard for the blue team to get this KO on the Mario. And Dark Wizzy just hanging around, being annoying, right? Getting all that damage in and even getting some of these clutch edge guards. So Dark Wizzy doing a fantastic job. And Ned just really trying to survive as much as possible mm -hmm. with this wing. See okay. here getting back on the stage and grab does connect here. Follow up, nothing though. Yeah, doesn't quite get anything off it. The Nair out of shield, you know, against Beautiful. Sephiroth. A little, little uh, going to struggle to battle up close a little bit. I think, yeah. you know, anybody that knows Sephiroth knows that. Um, you know, Nair out of shield, I think, is probably their quickest option, if I'm not mistaken. So I think the name of the game is try to keep, you know, these two characters from like short hopping and short hop forward airing and back airing all over your shield. Ned, of course, really trying to impose his will, but really struggling right now. All things considered. Now, the red team even stocks across the board. Uh, but, you know, who has the stocks is a much different story than, of course, the blue team. Kind of going back to what we talked about with Dark Wizzy just being the stock tank here. And both Steves were kind of in the corner there. The down air is not enough, even with the cross-up it looks like. But, oh, my goodness, there goes one Steve, or one Alex, I should say. The other Alex is going to get hit by the noggin, and it's Dark Wizzy back-to-back -back getting these stocks. That's right. Dark Wizzy is just an absolute menace here in doubles. Very curious to see how the blue team is going to adjust right now because not only is his Dark Wizzy playing out of his mind, he's also up two very, very fresh plumber stocks. Okay. Okay, nice building it up, pinning him down in the corner, forcing him to jump high. Very smart. Both of them were a little out of position right there to catch him with up tilt, but still like the presence of mind nonetheless. Yeah, you got to watch it. The diamonds are starting to get online for both Alex players here. So... Yep, and see that? That's that's one great thing that Ned can mm -hmm. kind of keep the pressure on, right? Because yeah. one great thing about Steve and Doubles is you can kind of wall off the teammate and kind of go for a 2v1. But, mm. you know, Sephiroth has such great range. You can just kind of slice through those blocks and really keep pressure on the other side of them here. Mm -hmm. well, I think all the pressure right now is on the blue team's behalf. Though. I mean, they're trying to get their tools in order. And I think with just how great Dark Wizzy has kind of shown himself in the corner between, like, Kate uh, you know, like down tilt, you know, <laughs> short hop forward. I mean, just not allowing them any sort of fun, even when they decide to break away right here. Going to fly back to the stage, but for how much longer? You're going to have to land pretty soon. Okay, saving the jump. Gets back on the stage. The counter. Is it going to go punished? Yeah, you can't really do it because Dark Wizzy is right there mm. for the punish. You hit the Sephiroth. You're going to get hit by the kicks there. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, the age-old trope of doubles. It's like this is the... Perfect punish if we were in a different format. If this was like yep. crew battles or singles, this is what I should go for. But in doubles, got to counter punches a little differently here. So, of course, Dark Wizard and Ned all smiles for sure, trying to force a second set. Akala and Onan, they want anything but that. Yeah, yeah. Right now, it's uh, Dark Wizzy and Ned with the presence of mind, I have to say. Yes, sir. Really good doubles fundamentals coming through and really kind of covering each other's back, going for these edge guards, covering multiple options. We'll see if Onan and Akola can figure it out. They're down 0-2, but they got they got the cushion of being on the winner's side. Mm -hmm. When you start Grand Finals, you want that W next to your name. You know what I'm saying? You, don't, you don't want the L. No, nobody ever wants the L. Um, I think it is because of the L, though, that is kind of uh, – A little motivation? A little motivation. Maybe just, like, ignited something in Dark Wizard Net. Not exactly sure who put them in, in losers. I, I'm going to be honest. I was busy shoving my face with, you know, nice Miami food. I didn't watch the beginning of doubles, but whoever put them in losers – course had to been very talented but I think it's because they're in that portion of bracket that has kind of forced them to play even stronger yeah. you know kind of you know coming swinging out like a some sort of cornered animal or something you know it's like that age old saying you'd be surprised what you can do when you have to do it and yeah. I think these two certainly know what's at stake right now 
one more game, and we're in a good spot. Wait a minute. Are we hovering over Mr. Mishima? Oh. No. Nope. Zombie? Yeah, he said nah, not today. All right, okay. all right. Looks like Onan is going to stick it out with the Alex. Cola switching it out. Showing us the whole palette here for Steve. We got Zombie coming up. Mm -hmm. And we are also on final destination. We'll see if we can have some kind of turnaround here. But it looks like Ned and Dark Wizzy are going to clean up this first set 3 0. See, we will see here. Well, let's see how it all unfolds right now. Would not be surprised, of course, if we do see this happen. Of course, they have just been playing absolutely out of their mind. Excuse me. Wow, that food that I had earlier is calling back. But yes. Um, would not be surprised if we do see the three. I don't know if we're going to get the same energy, of course, in the second set, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I, again, I think there's just some very key moments for the red team that, uh, you know, I think the blue team just really struggles with the first one, and it's been kind of a reoccurring thing for throughout the, the majority of our portion of doubles. Dark Wizzy in the corner, standing jab, uh, you know, short hop backer, baiting you in, you baiting out that air dodge and rinsing and repeating a situation. And then, of course, Ned standing strong but doesn't seem to matter. Blue team going up big. Didn't Ooh. interrupt it long enough. And, wow, almost gets walled out from the ledge there. That would have been tragedy if Ned lost that stock at 42% here. But right now it looks like blue team kind of figuring something out. The gears are turning right now. They most certainly are. Now he's going to go for the fourth throw off stage. Dark Wizzy said, I'm on my way, bro. I see you off stage. You ain't got no business out there. The silly block, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I like Ned using the forward air, kind of sticking toward into the block, right? You can do that on uh, on the walls of the stages and also going to be able to do that on Steve's blocks as well. That's right. You know, kind of taking their two away from him and using it against him. Nothing off the up smash forward throw right there to kind of get him as far away as possible. Usually we see, like, the back throw. Mario, of course, doesn't spend a lot of time with his recovery system off stage, so maybe trying to throw him into the commotion is the better option. A character like Sephiroth, definitely throw him off stage. And I'm going to be honest, may maybe even just disengage. You know, if you know yeah. a character's going to take a while to recover, I'll see you in a few seconds, bro. Let me go jump your teammate. Oh, man, four stocks to two. I I don't know what happened between you know, game number uh, two and three here, but something is clicking. And it, it could be the zombie pick. Who knows? It could be. Or maybe the final destination. Okay. The creative oh, recovery coming man. out from Onan, but it's going to be met by a forward smash from Dark Wizzy. Dark Wizzy. Yeah, now we're going to see how well Ned can survive. Of course, has the wing on deck. Only eight, I'm saying only 85%. I'm saying that very loosely because, of course, he's still like and still be taken, but, uh, oh, well, man. it do not seem to matter at this point. Unfortunately enough, Sephiroth, Ned, all by his lonesome. A lot, of mining. a lot of mining. A lot of mining and a lot of crafting for sure. Crafted that man a coffin right there, closing that one out. Uh, Onan and Akla, they are alive. There is a pulse in this set, Charles. Yep, yep. And maybe it was the final destination pick. Maybe the adaptation is finally coming through. <coughs> Only time will tell with this game four coming up. Yes. We'll see how well they can adjust. Because all it takes is a spark right there to really ignite that flame that is these two players. I mean, we've seen how prolific they are, um, you know, when they're separate. And they have shown, because they're on the winner side of Grands, that they are equally as strong together. But Ned and, and Dark Wizzy, of course, nothing to sleep on. Certainly no slouches at all. Fighting with a little bit more passion, I, I would say so myself, just because they find themselves on the loser side. But we will see. I'm kind of hoping for a next set. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, and if you're wondering why the players keep looking at their badges, it's because the rule set, the schedule, the stage list, it's all on the badge. Damn. Shout out to Let's Make Moves Miami. Goated. Goated, man. Shout out to Toronto Joe and Maximum Kretschmar, man, for – Doing a just a phenomenal job with this event, man. Oh, three yeah. majors a year. I mean, it's hard enough to just to host one. EMG oh, hosts yeah. three. You know, VG hosts like nine. VTS has four summits. You know, in the main stage. I mean, I just don't know where these people have all the time to host these damn events. But hey, I ain't complaining because I'm all it, for it. I'm all for it. it. Makes for a great viewing experience. And I would imagine it makes for a great experience for the talented individuals like this to make some money. So let's see what goes down here. Akla and Onan showing some signs of life at the end of that last one. But I don't want to call it out just yet because uh, Dark Wizzy and Ned are still Dark Wizzy and Ned. Yeah, I mean, we saw the dominance they had games one and two. They just need one more to bring this, uh, at least this first set, to a closure. Jeez. And just like that, 
A cola gets taken out right in front of Onan. Onan just can't do anything. My goodness, rolling through with the up airs. Oh, oh my goodness, damn. and Ned getting a counter. What a fantastic start. And I mean, at this point, you kind of got to wonder, all right, well, I mean, we're, we're probably seeing a reset, but let's see what Akola and Onan can do. You can start the set off down, but you're not quite out just yet. Yeah, absolutely not. You ain't out until it says game. And I think, you know, Ned, of course, being the light individual that he is in his set, you know, even if you decide to disengage from Ned and force maybe like the, the 2v1 on Dark Wizzy, that's actually not a bad position, um, you know what I'm saying, for you guys to be, oh, wow, Dark Wizzy with the drop off cape. You're a, you're a bad man. Okay, big damage here. Yeah, the quadruple up air. Going to rack it up here on Onin. Still five socks to four here. See if the Steve team can get something going. Offstage tries to get the edge guard on Ned. Goes high, but gets covered. And still down a stock with this trade. I think that's the key difference between the blue team and, and the red team. I think the blue team does really good at getting the red team off stage and capitalizing accordingly. You know, I think before the red team was a doing a really good job at that in some of those previous sets, but the blue team just knows how to play to their weaknesses. But there's some team synergy aspects that the blue team is missing. Like, if I go for a smash attack, right? Right. Like, if I swing big, I'm like, okay, my teammate needs to cover me. Like, right. just stand in place. You know, be be a shield. Body block me. Blue team, a little, little out of sync with that. Oh, oh no. damn. Off the top. <laughs> this is looking... uh. Grim for Akola on the Enderman here. Just going to get ping pong back and forth. The air dodge not getting trapped, but it's all right. So getting a good amount of damage. Spike into the backer, my goodness. Okay. Spike into the backer, looking good here. We'll see what they can do to possibly bring this one back. It's, it's looking anything but good right now. Dark Wizzy and Ned looking poised to bring this home. But honestly, man, with everything that we've seen from this character, can we really count out, you know, a Minecraft player of this caliber at all? I don't, I don't, I don't want to do it. I do it. see Enderman on the screen. I do see him, bro. He ain't dead yet. <laughs> he ain't disappeared just yet, oh. but oh, I think the, okay. Back air still on lock here. Not going to quite oh. get it, but well, the Mario kicks. The Mario back air will do the trick, and we got a bracket reset. We are here. Side relief right there on Dark Wizzy's behalf, as it should be, of course, Onan and Akla, just a strong force together. They have forced their hand, uh, you know, over into the loser side of bracket now. With this in mind, Mr. Nasty, mm -hmm. I don't want to call it, but do we see a character switch or do we just stay Minecraft Steve's? Do, we, mean, do we stay? Do we switch? I mean, what what is the method right now? Because it really feels like Red Team's figuring some things out. In my opinion, if you're if you're Onan and Nicola, I'm listening. You know, you're already kind of dabbling with the dark side of the force, right? You 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 got Steve, you got double Steve, right? Mm -hmm. But if you want to go into, uh, you want to utilize the full potential mm -hmm. of the dark side of the force. Yes. You got to go Kazuya Steve, man. Think so? Mr. Mishima and Mishima, Steve. Mr. Mishima, that's right. They don't get no. Name a more powerful duo. I, Name it. I can't do it. I try. I thought, you know, watch the throne. I thought, you know, like father, like son, Lil Wayne Birdman, Kanye, <laughs> Jay-Z. I can't do it. Beyonce, Jay-Z. I can't, I can't think of a stronger combination than Kazuya. And, of course, Minecraft, any damn thing. I don't know <laughs> if we're going to see it, though. I hear Mario. Kazuya? Double oh, no, shit. Hold on. I heard, I heard him. Yeah, no. no? Double talk. Kazuya's too powerful. Chill, chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One Kazuya, one Steve. But right. uh, uh, it's still right, a family-friendly right, event. Trolling, they're trolling. They're trolling. All right. We got Steve. We got Enderman. So we're going to stay on the double Steve here. And, of course, Dark Wizzy and Ned, they ain't going to switch anything up. No. The absolutely. Sephiroth, the Mario, it's working out. And both of them, I mean, maybe we could see Ned on the, uh, the Pokemon trainer. Mm. I know, uh, I know Ned's been getting a little sad about Sephiroth, but I think at least in doubles, even in singles, I mean, won a tournament recently, so. Yeah, absolutely. Ned kind of back and forth on his opinions about Sephiroth, but so far sticking with the character and mm. it is bringing him success. And speaking of success, the Enderman, the Steve, already getting a stock on Dark Wizzy, who has been the hardest player to get a stock on this entire Grand Finals. Morrow's a chunky guy, man. He's going to live for a very long time. And then, of course, having the movement options that Dark Wizzy possesses with this character is just really going to add fire to that. Um, I think, you know, again, in doubles, it's like, okay, if I can't KO you, I'll just switch focus over to your teammate and force your hand that way. So you're, you're just going to be stuck in the stock tank role no matter what. You won't be able to switch out and kind of be, uh, you know, kind of the, the point um, in this match. But doesn't seem to matter, of course, even in the stocks right up. Yeah. Down smash. Shouldn't get anything off of that. Oh, oh, he's a, he, I'm going to just charge it up, he said. I'm charging the lava. Mm. Dark Wiz was charging up that up smash, though. Reddit from a mile away. The reads right now on behalf of the blue team and the red team have just been something really just to marvel at. Uh-oh. Off the top. No. 
Great DI coming out from Akola, I believe, is... No, no, no. Akola is the Steve. Yes, and I think Onan, Onan is Denderman. the Ender Enderman. And they're, they're, they're taking turns with the costumes, man. Why are they doing this to us, Charles? <laughs> All right, my eyes ain't so good. I'm trying good. to get mixed, man. Yeah, man. My eyes ain't so good these days. Oh I don't like that. Okay. Evening this game right up, though, in a big way. Dash attack in the corner, though, making me a liar. But wait a minute. We've seen a K still on even. the opposite side. Yes, yeah, still even here. This is very, oh. very smart. Oh, my goodness. Ned almost losing the stock at 9% practically there. Got to watch out. Akola is not scared to go for some of these risky, aggressive plays to get that crazy return. Mm -hmm. and you can't be sometimes, man. Scare money don't make any money. Sometimes you have to, you know, take a calculated risk and hope for the best. Getting Dark Wizzy off stays nice. Sets the block up, forces him to avoid that and go a little bit lower earlier than expected. Forwarder, though, on Ned's behalf. Hold on, homie. I heard you need help recovering. I got you covered. Wow, the high recovery and, of course, Cola there to cover it. The forward smash, setting up Dark Wizzy off stage, and oh my goodness, so many different blocks, but giving the landing <laughs> zone that Dark Wizzy is going to need here. The fast fall there, and wow, beautiful tech on to the block, and such a crazy back and forth, but it looks like blue team is the oh, one with control. Oh, shoot. That ain't, that ain't nothing nice right there. Oh, can you even it up? There's the up smash, and can you get this edge guard as well? The stall coming out from Onan. Going to get back to the ledge, barely. What a recovery. Very smart. Going back to the ledge as well, too. Nice. Slides right through. He said, I'm out of here. See ya. Wow. The wings comboing into that back air is going to do the trick. And if, you, if you're Mario, you want to hunt down the Enderman. Yeah. You really want to get this KO because right now it's 2v1, and the Enderman is getting more and more resources as we speak here. Gold is on deck here for one of the two, though. This ain't good. Up forward smash. Uh -oh. Doesn't get anything off of it. Yes, it's going to go ahead and hold shield. Oh, oh. no. Th that's me, bro. <laughs> bro, that's me. Dang. Dark Wizzy hit him with the switcheroo. Let me go ahead and footstool your teammate real quick so you go ahead and back air that. Dark Wizzy needs to get back on the stage, the mm. cape to try and reflect, but you don't have too much options. And, of course, the Lava Mancer Steve coming through with the down smash. Mm -hmm. That is how you uh, hold it tight to the very end. Things are starting to unravel ever so slightly, and I like the fact that they still held strong because, again, um, you know, just in the realm of, like, 2v1s, Dark Wizzy does very well in that regard. Oh, yeah. So, 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 so close. The footstool was so clutch coming out from Dark Wizzy, but just wasn't enough. And this time... In this set, it's going to be the double Steve team that's going to get the momentum. Onan and Akola starting things off up 1-0. Yep. Let's we'll see if they can hold on to this fire, though. It's going to be a tough thing to do, especially with how well I think Mario and Sephiroth kind of bust up the block fun, and right. they just get in there and they just force to play the up-close and personal game. Now, I'm not saying that the Minecraft characters can't bang up close, but if it was up to them, they would disengage and, you know, kind of play the – I'm going to set it up, force you to play my game type of thing. Right, right. They want to um, get some materials, man. Yeah, you got to get playing, the materials online. Playing Minecraft, right? Yeah. I got to get my mats. I got to craft my tools. All right, I need you to chill. <laughs> all right, well, let's see how it all unfolds right now. One game up right here on Akula and Onan. Dark Wizzy and Ned right now playing from behind. Okay, early on the recovery back to stage. Smart right there from Dark Wizzy to stop him from punishing that, uh, that landing lacquer. There is a lot of lag on Sephiroth's up B, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, especially when you charge it up. Yeah. Full, full charge Octo Slash there is going to be a ton of lag unless you go to the ledge. Oh, Ned with the hunt down here. And look at this, mm. man. It is Blue Team taking all the damage right now. Ned and Dark Wizzy opening up fantastic here. Start this game number two off. Okay, tries to go for oh. the Trump. And all these traps continuing. Oh, my oh, goodness. How much iron getting thrown at you? He said you could parry this, but uh, what about that, though? Okay, nice. Drops the anvil on top of him, but... Gets caught in the cart. Both sides disengaging right here. Got to get my tools on deck before I jump into battle. Nice. Goes for the forward throw. And very good there. Goes for the forward throw. And actually doesn't go for the follow up at all because I think Dark Wizard was waiting for him to run over so he can try to catch him with either throw or a smash attack of some sort. So, again, that's doubles right there. Sometimes you just have to know when to stop the fun. Nice. Turn okay. the Sephiroth into roll kill. Clean. Yeah, and now Sephiroth. Got the wing, gonna fade back a little bit. This is where Ned wants to get extreme value. And look at this, Dark Wizzy still alive. Gonna try to get the block, but the block is gonna save him. But was it a save or was it just a setup into the down smash? Finally, Dark Wizzy gonna lose that first stock, but it is Ned rocking three stocks and a wing. Mm -hmm. It's a very scary Ned right here. I don't think it gets any spookier than this for Sephiroth. Of course, 97% just throwing his oh. weight around. Yes, Ooh. very, very smart, and that's great. I think, of course, the Smash Hacks have armor, right? 
and yes, the wing is on deck. So, I mean, he can just really jump up in the thick of things and just swing big. We've seen that sort of mentality come out from Zamba and, and Goblin um, just a few sets ago. So, very smart right here from Ned to tap back into that. But Ned right now looking good. Blue team really has to figure some stuff out here and quick. Yeah, Ned got so much value off of that last stock and the wing. Essentially, Ooh. you know, hitting two home runs there, getting both Steves in the crossfire. Mm -hmm. Okay, Onan and Akla really struggling here to figure <laughs> out some plays. Yes, he said, look, we got tools too, my friend. Oh, man, the flood to push the minecart the other way. So much Sheesh. wacky stuff going on. But, man, I, I don't know if there's anything wacky about this for uh, for the blue team right now because, oh, man. G oh. Sheesh, man. <laughs> yeah, now wacky implies some form of hilarity. and ain't nothing funny about what's going on right now, man. Uh, you know, again, Ned and, and Dark Wizzy, they're just – I mean, really synced up right now, joined at the hip, if you will, when it comes to their synergy. Nothing off of the cape. Do like that attempt, though. Back throw off the mark, of course, for up smash. A little too close. Gets hit with the body. The stalls coming out from that have been fantastic with the forwarders. Woo! Should be the trick. And Dead. Dark Wizzy just nailing the read on that DI, reading the up DI there, and just getting the downer off the top. So trading back and forth here. Yeah. Yeah, let them know that, uh, you know, we can play multiple positions. You know, we do have a very firm game plan, but this game plan is not one that's 100% set in stone. If I need to become the stock tank and he needs to become the one that, you know, goes for the ups and masters, or I guess in that case, downer, we can certainly make that happen. Onan and Akla, there's, I think there's a bit of explosiveness that's needed in doubles, right? Yeah. Like, I think there's like, okay, we're holding forward, we're going in. And when you don't do that, you allow the other side to maybe think a little bit more. Now, of course... Ned and Dark Wizzy already thinking a lot because their game plan is definitely working. But because we've disengaged so much, I think now they're like, okay, what do we want to do now? Everything that we were doing up until this point is working. Let's try something new. And a lot of what they're bringing to this set is kind of working. I want to see Aqua and Own and maybe hold four just a little bit more and get them hands dirty. Yeah, I think especially Dark Wizzy creating a lot of scramble scenarios yeah. against, uh, I mean, both Steve players, right? And Steve in general, like, you, you do have scramble moves like, you know, jab, forward tilt, up tilt, and stuff like that. But Dark Wizzy has just been playing the scramble so well. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the, the team combos coming out from Dark Wizzy and Ned, which is no surprise. It has been – felt feels like the red team's team combo game feels a little stronger than the blue team team combo game. And I, I, I'm guessing this is the first time Akola and Onan have teamed. <laughs> yeah, but you know what, though? For them to only have teamed maybe once or however many times, they're looking still pretty good. I mean, they were on oh, the yeah. winner side of Grands. And uh, but obviously, I know like the thing to highlight is just kind of the differences in like their approach. I would like to see maybe more follows from the blue team, but there are some characters in doubles that just don't go for that type of stuff because they are their own team combo. They go for more traps, you know, right. more control of the terrain, as you can see oh right here. Goodness. I get you off stage. I know this is an area where you're not particularly strong. Let me set these blocks up. Let me drop the downer on you, and let's get it done that way. Well, just like that, I mean, blue team opening up. Game number three, such a pivotal game here. There's no more sets. There's no more resets. This is it here. So, okay. I mean, already opening things up with taking, you know, two stocks already. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, Ooh, wow. Is that enough? Dude, yes, there's always, is. like, that split second where you, like, hit one of the Minecraft characters up and it's like, are they dead? You can't hear nothing. Okay, there <laughs> they go. They're flying back there. They're dead. They're dead. Yeah, they're, they're not too vocal. No. <laughs> and I think that's the – just kind of adds to the spookiness, tapping into, like, that Smash for a Villager stuff. Just – Emotionless. I don't talk nothing. I'm just swinging, yeah. <laughs> swinging sharp objects. I fear nothing. <laughs> I fear nothing. Oh, you need to fear me in this corner, though. Can oh, you make no. it back? Oh, wait. Oh, oh no, you cannot. Okay. Uh-uh. I, I like the idea coming out from a cola, go, sinking down and using the upbeat to recover back up to the ledge, and you could also hit your teammate mm -hmm. so they can go ahead and upbeat again. Not going to get there in time, though. So it is three stocks to four, and wow, I mean – Blue team opened things up by taking two stocks right off the rip, first 30 seconds, and now look at this. Yeah, just a complete turnaround. And I, I got to give it to the red team, of course, with just how well their, their, you know, whatever their plan was, you know, is definitely starting to work out for them. But I don't want to speak too soon, though, because I think the blue team definitely starting to figure some things out as well, too. Of course, even stocks across the board. And, again, I was talking about this earlier. I'm just going to go ahead and just reinstate it again. There's like that you've disengaged, and right. now you've spent so much time away from me on the opposite side of the screen. Now I'm like, okay, well, what are their options to approach? They can only approach me so many ways. You know, like, one side is not really holding forward. They're both kind of playing the same game plan. And in parts of doubles, it has certainly worked. 
both like at the beginning of the game, they got him off stage, you know, set the blocks up, dropped the anvil on top of him, and got two KOs the exact same way. But there's moments where there's a scramble like you talked about, and there's also moments where, like, hey, I just need to, you know, explode, and you just don't really get that from the blue team. Yeah, and now high percentages here on Akola. So can can you even things up here again? Game three is so important for that counter pick, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Carts back in, has to recover high. Ned with the standing jab in the corner, very smart. Does not want to give away that position at all. Okay. Acklin on and looking good. Has to break away now, of course. This is not out of the realm of possibility, but this is, rough. this is still a rough spot to be in for sure. And the one I was worried about the most is the one that gets it done. Small pop off right there, but the job ain't done yet, though. Yeah, and that was a crazy comeback. I yep. mean, it was really on, I believe, Akola was the Steve at the highest percent to not get that stock taken, right? Mm -hmm. And right there, even ensuring on that ledge trap there, Having the house built, right, and just ripping the forward smash. Nothing bad can happen to me, but, oh, man, your world can come crumbling your down. Your world can literally come falling like a stack of bricks. Unfortunately enough, Ned and Dark Wizzy, this is tournament game right here. They ain't got no choice but to get Ooh. this dub. Okay. Oh, wait, bangers? We got we got the jams? Oh, wait, are we really going to do it? Come on. Yeah. There it is. Now, does this mean we're going to get who I think we're going to get, or are we just going to stay on the Minecraft characters? Nah, we're staying on the Minecraft think characters. Think so? They won't, they won't do it. Steve, I heard one Steve. I was okay. Nah, they won't do I it. I thought thought we was having some fun. Thought, they won't do we it. They fun. won't do it. Yeah, they ain't gonna do that. But at least we got the jams. We got the jams. We do got the jams. Big shout out to Ultimate. Yep, Infinite Zero, baby. Or yeah, Moose Lady. There you go. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. Potential final game right here. Dark Wizzy and Ned, of course, Onan and Akla looking good right here. Two games to one, but I ain't trying to call it just yet. Okay, opening up early right here on Ned. Very smart. They know that he does a pretty good job of holding on to stocks, but also when they need to explode a little bit, and, you know, Dark Wizzy wants to maybe stay back in the cut, you know, you have the opportunity to throw your weight around a little bit if Wing is on deck. If not, Ned plays more of that finesse game. Oh, forward throw? Yeah, it, it was crazy, too, because usually when we saw the blue team behind, we didn't too much see the comebacks, right? And that was a pretty big deficit coming out from the blue team. So, oh, really great get fucking bumped. Wow. Damn. That was OD. That, and, and you make it back as well. That was crazy. This huge edge guard coming out here for the blue team to uh, once again start the game off with so much momentum. Yeah, that's facts, yo. That was so smart. Usually when I see characters kind of fly into each other off stage, I'm like, okay, you're flying around Mario. He's, like, not really trying oh to my float God. around. And he is going to go for an aerial sooner or later, but doesn't. Oh, this is, this is uh, um, oh, man, wrap it up. Yeah, play the, Dang. where's the Grammys wrap it up music? <laughs> we got those commercials. Oh, no. Yeah, we, we got the cut to commercial. Who, who really got the power up from this song? That's right. <laughs> Hold yeah, up. Looks like it's the other side for sure. Four <laughs> throw, of course, off stage. And I still like that. And, again, Ned showcasing, you know, the power of Sephiroth's tilt, being able to tilt that, I believe, in three different directions. So, Really trying to scout out that uh really trying to scout Ooh, okay, that up special. Okay. The kicks off the top. All right, all right. Red team fighting back. Red team's like, nah, nah. We still got this. All right, we'll see if they can make the comeback here. Still down a stock and Dark Wizzy at 73% here. Mm -hmm. The slash. Okay. Mario coming through. Almost gets the cape on the minecart there. It could have been huge. That's right. A little out of position for it there. The one side is going to break away. And this is good. I think now the blue team's realized we both just can't break away and start mining. How about you mine? And uh, I'll, you know, cover you and then we'll know flip-flop when need be. Okay. Okay, using all the iron here. Getting some pressure. And that's the crazy thing about Steve. Not the craziest mobility. No, sir. But you do have things like minecart, like the up B, right? Going to kind of give you that supplement mobility and also sending that uh projectile that is the command grab as well oh the counter Whoa. catching the top side ned uh -oh. so clutch Man. where are you going a little spaghetti right there it looked like you know one side on the other team i can't remember who was who but it looks like one of them accidentally ko'd the other one but this is still very doable uh oh we going deep oh no it don't matter it, it do not matter you went too deep oh wait a minute was still actually able to get back bad. to the ledge mario magnet hands oh did he jump off the uh, platform to try to go for back air? <laughs> Sneaky. Yeah, at, at this point, this is going to be really rough. There's the spike again. Nope, just going to go ahead. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a damn minute. Dark Wizzy getting on top of the block. He said, hold, hold on, up. you know who I am? He said, I'm Mario, boy. I, I board platforms all day, man. Don't play. I am the platform fighter. Remember that. Yeah, man. <laughs> it wouldn't be none if it wasn't for me, man. I send your ass back to Microsoft. Don't play. <laughs> okay, up till. Cut the deal, man. Cut, cut, the, cut deal. the deal. Cut the deal. Now cut the commercial. <laughs> Wait a damn minute! 
Oh, what? not going to be able to make it back with the save here. Oh, can you get the edge guard on both? No. Oh, my goodness. What a save. The double Steve team showing up. Okay, nice. Pushing him out of position. He said, oh, damn. He said, you boarded your last platform. Boy, do you hear me? Onan and Akla are your let's make moves Miami doubles champions looking amazing. Fantastic stuff and really coming through and so many situations were, when they were behind, especially that game three, really clutching it up mm -hmm. and even all the things like that save there at the end. I mean, it still would have had been that 1v1, but that save kind of was the nail in the coffin and some craziness going on off stage as well. So fun to watch. That's right. I mean, that's just the type of gameplay you look for in doubles. People always give doubles a bad rep, but then you get plays like that and you really watch the scramble. You watch a lot of mindsets and mentalities right. start to form their way into one solid narrative at the end. Dark Wizzy off stage. How do I recover in accordance to these platforms? He's going to go for downs. He's going to go for down smash. How do I save myself? But then, of course, you also have both players, Akla and Owen. It's like, okay, here we are. We know Dark Wizzy. Phenomenal at the 2v1. We cannot allow him any free points back. If one of us dies, I am in big trouble. Such a smart thing to see right there. Such beautiful gameplay. And, of course, big shout out to, of course, the viewers who helped with viewing this wonderful tournament. Of course, we would have a job if it wasn't for all you beautiful faces that tuned in. So big shout out to y'all. Of course, I think that's going to wrap it up right here for doubles. It's been a pleasure as always, Mr. Nasty. He's faded. He's feeling X-rated. It's Mr. Nasty time. No, I'm joking, but not really. We're going to throw to a quick commercial. When we come back, we got the cosplay contest. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back right after this.